And a warm welcome on a very pleasant day for football in the northeast of England. The venue is St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United versus Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Alan Sam Maxima plays with Ryan Fraser in the wide areas. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. The lineup for Manchester United. And so the match is underway. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Might be able to set up the chance. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Alex Scott has an update for us. Breaking developments at Villa Park, Alex. It's a goal for Villa. Nice build-up play, and when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. They've scored the opener here with three minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways? Oh, Derek, big moment here. And able to get a body in the way. Casemiro. And just over the bar. Really good effort. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, what a goal scorer he is. His finishing is so calm and composed, which added to his skill makes him a top-class striker. He'll certainly be hard to stop today. Dummett. Isaac. Fraser, well read to ease the pressure. Rafael Varan. Scott McTominay. Encouraging stuff from United. McTominay. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Mm -hmm. 
And Newcastle get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? Sven Botman. It's with Isaac Hayden. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And played the pass well. Good looking ball. It's with McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. Terrific piece of anticipation. And I'm hearing a change to the scoreline in the Forest match. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. It's now 1-0 with 21 minutes played. What a game we have here, Derek. Thank you, Alex. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. It's going to be United's free kick. He's played it short here. Can he finish? Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. And he's clear his lines. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. A change to the scoreline at the Etihad, I believe. Alex Scott? It's a goal from Manchester City. The goalkeeper has spilled it back into the danger area and he is there to slot the ball into the back of the net nicely. It's now 1-0 with 29 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Almiron... He continues his run. And how about that for a save? Malasia. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. A glorious chance. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Right, I'm hearing something has happened in the Forest game. What exactly? Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Arsenal. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 36 minutes on the clock. Thanks for the update, Alex. Trippier. Almiron, good strength to keep the ball, options in the centre, can he put it in, opportunity maybe, and still danger here, but no it's not going to be an opportunity because the flag is up. Lisandro Martinez. This is Varan. Scott McTominay. It's with Martinez. Bruno Fernandes has it. Slide again, winning the ball, and once more they've kept it. And Alex is going to tell us about a goal that's been scored at Villa Park. It's a second goal for Chelsea. It was a free kick that deflected off the wall, and the goalkeeper had no chance with that one. It's now 2-1 with under five minutes left to play till half-time. Thank you, Alex. Rafael Varane. 
It's with Martinez. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And they need to get tighter. Ronaldo. Tomane. Excellent ball over the top. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, an influential presence up to this point, Bruno Fernandes. What did you think of what you saw from him? Yeah, he's had a good first half, hasn't he? Looked lively, created plenty of chance. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Diogo Dallo. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, the referee decided not to show him a second yellow card. But he's under pressure now. Another foul, and he will be off. Great opportunity. Oh, that is a superb save. Well, incumbent upon the referee to stop play so that treatments can be administered. drop ball on the back of the stoppage and no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper Lisandro Martinez here's Ronaldo that's a splendid ball from Ronaldo and a goal it is the keeper really not part of the equation Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. Well, a second goal for them here. Bruno Fernandes. And a scoring update to bring you from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Who has found the net? Alex Scott. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing Everton. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Thumps clear. Given away by Manchester United. Thomas. 30 minutes to go then. Hayden. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. And the emphasis is on creativity. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Shelby. All with uh, Maxima. Please return to your vehicle. Your lights are on. Playing with purpose and control. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Bournemouth. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Well, there's been a goal at the Etihad Stadium, and Alex Scott can give us the lowdown on that. And it's a second goal for Manchester City. They're pulled ahead by two with 67 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex.
Well, they no longer have the ball. I don't think too many players would have the overdrive to get to that one. Goalkeeper's ball. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Cristiano Ronaldo. A good and fair challenge. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Longstaff. Hayden. This attack looks highly promising. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Scott McTominay. Breaking at pace. And teammates to play it to. Malasia. Bruno Fernandes has it. And maybe Rashford. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, as you can see, what an excellent backfield this is to set up the goal. And the timing of the run is just as good. As for the finish, it was never in doubt. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Right, I'm hearing something has happened in the Forest game. What exactly? Alex Scott. Yep, second one for Nottingham Forest. It's all level again at 2-2 with 82 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. He's protecting it well. Trippier. Sven Botman. Fraser. And a useful cross. He's given it away. Isaac. He might be onto something. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And now the delivery Well not the best clearance Shelby And there it is A goal but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Here's a change for Manchester United. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. The electronic board has been held in the air. And we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Scott McTominay. Rashford! And up for grabs off the keeper. And a time for cool heads. Fraser. Trippier now. Willock. 
And that is the end of the game. It goes down as a United triumph. The fans are going to be happy with this. Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. well Bruno Fernandes serving his team well in typical fashion. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.